happy Saturday, everybody. We're in St. Petersburg, Florida at the Beer, Bacon, and Barbecue Festival. I mean, literally, all they would need to do is throw baseball in there, and I would be good to go. All kinds of food, all kinds of drinks, bacon, bacon, bacon. Ah, uh, the 5th and 6th B, bathrooms and boats. Bacon, bacon, bacon! Beer. I think at the end of this line. So I would do a time lapse, but I think we might run out of time in the video. These are the drink selections here at the beer festival. I'm hoping they have more beer selections somewhere else, but right now it just looks like there's basically four servers in one beer tent. So that is the only beer booth, by the way, and uh, they were out of last snow, which I was going to get in tribute to everybody else that's getting this massive snowstorm this weekend, but it's a void shaker from Funky Buddha. Cheers, everybody. So there is free bang here for you. Cornhole, empanadas, barbecue. I'm not really seeing a lot of bacon. More food trucks, gourmet grilled cheese, barbecue, axe throwing. Got some bacon here, bacon chili, bacon hash and pulled pork. Back online for the bacon booth, which seems to be really the only bacon, pure bacon representation. Cheeseburgers, by the way, frozen hamburgers. By the way, this beer is not too bad. I mean, it's kind of got like a, a little bit of bourbon heat in the back of your throat. Nice creamy stout. Even the dogs like the lightning here. 25 minutes later, it's bacon. 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 Established 2022, literally within the last 16 days, 15 days. Maybe today, who knows? It is a beautiful day and the tiki boat in action back there. You can rent that boat out, it's bring your own bottle. And they drive you around over here in the Gulf. So this is our bacon basket. They were very generous with the people in front of us. And then we got the extras, <laughs> or the leftovers. As far as the bacon. It's kind of like maple flavored. You like it? I like it. I like it. I like the view behind us. So there is like a VIP section that you could pay for about four times the price of a normal ticket, which is not bad. Normal ticket was ten bucks or nine bucks. VIP included five samples of beverages. And this is basically the lines for food. I mean, look at that. Holy cow. Well, the bacon, beer, and barbecue festival is kind of a bust, so that would be the sixth B for the day. We're heading onward and upward to hopefully better things. Well, since we really couldn't get a drink or any food without waiting for half an hour or longer, we made our way over to Dr. Barbecue, where I know I'm gonna get good food, good drinks, <laughs> and the tiki bar upstairs. And here we are. Roll with the Mai Tai. Oh, that is Mai tai terrific. Blue Hawaii over here. Breezy drinks, Saturday afternoon. These are the mugs that they offer from Tiki Farm, and they've got their own in the back there. Pride mug and the Dr. Barbecue mug. A little Polynesian pineapple. All right, so we made our way downstairs to Dr. Barbecue. I think I'm gonna go chicken and ribs. And with that, I think I'm gonna go Sandy's Bacon Blue Coleslaw and the Cowboy Caviar at Dr. Barbecue. Here is our dinner. Mary's got a gin drink and some tacos and I've got chicken and ribs and cowboy caviar and coleslaw with bacon. This might be the greatest coleslaw I've ever had in my life. Blue cheese, coleslaw dressing, and bacon. Good morning from beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida. We have booked one of the cheapest hotel rooms in St. Pete just to be able to sleep overnight and be able to head over to Ray J for the game today. Look at me, I'm in the shower. Thank God I'm not my brother. <laughs> the door, it's seen better days. But the bed was really comfortable. The shower was actually really nice and hot. 
And essentially we just watched football on TV last night. It was originally supposed to pour the entire morning and day for the game, but it looks like the rain is going away. So this is amazing. But you Northern folks are getting hammered with snow right about now. Breakfast across the street. Well, post Buccaneers game, we're gonna get our food on the Tiki Docks in Riverview. We were here a few months ago, we love this place. Uh, it doesn't seem so safe, but it was closer. Got a painkiller, but the only thing painkiller about this is like pineapple juice. It looks pretty, but it's essentially a whole mixer. A random duck appears. Coconut breaded chicken tenders. Amazing, like the Mets. What do you think? It's amazing. It was really good, but it was hot. Like Keith Hernandez. <laughs> Mary got crab cake platter, and I got a hamburger. The burger is actually quite good. The fries are awesome, and the crab cakes. Very good. Need a little salt. Mary's like, we should eat outside. 61 degrees. My current attire. Well, back home and. A very all over the place video. Uh, I had intentions of this being like this great thing to be able to show off the beer, bacon, and barbecue, and it kind of just went sideways because it really, um, it, it just wasn't good. So there's no way to sugarcoat it. It was cheap, uh, but uh, just totally not worth it. So um, I know that they do those events at least annually. Um, I wouldn't recommend going back to it again unless they were to expand things and have like more of everything because there just wasn't enough and there was too many people for what they had uh, but in any event we're gonna get out of here thanks a lot for coming along thank you very much for all of your likes comments and subscriptions treat others the way you want to be treated have a great day we'll see you guys <laughs>